Welcome back to another exciting and unbelievable episode of Mind Read. So, wait just a red hot minute. Have you guys and gals seen the title of this video? Um, 10 pet animals that ate their owners. Well, frankly, we are already a little shocked by that, and we're not sure if we're completely ready to see this, are we? Jeez. Well, as long as you're sure, I guess we'll have to keep going so we can give you a countdown that's truly weird and definitely very squeamish and scary. Thankfully though, we're doing this together, so if it's too much pain for you at any point in the video, just listen to my voice and take a deep breath, alright? Okay, great. So, do animals really enjoy eating humans? And if so, why? Um, well, we'll just let you decide down in the comments section, as we take you to 10 pet animals that ate their owners. I'm already freaking out. My dog's been totally looking at me weirdly lately. But I think he just likes my nachos. I can't stop eating them lately. Okay, okay, I won't get paranoid. Here we go. Number 10. At our 10th spot, we can tell you all about monitor lizards. First and foremost, monitor lizards are large lizards in the genus Varanus. They are native to Africa, Asia, and to Oceania as well, but are also found within the Americas as an invasive species. There are about 80 recognized species in all, and monitor lizards have very long necks, powerful tails and claws, and strong and well-developed limbs. So for this one, a man who failed to appear for his employment, Ronald Pug, well, his family alerted the police to him being missing. The authorities went to go and check on him in Delaware, at his residence which was an apartment space he was renting. The 42-year-old was found lying on the ground and was deceased, acting as a food source for the Nile monitors, and there were seven of them. One of them was over six feet in length, actually, and the authorities were definitely dumbfounded and saddened by their find. We're not sure if he suffered an episode and passed away before he was consumed, though. Number 9. At spot number 9 in the countdown, we can give you some information on pugs. A pug is a breed of dog with physically distinctive features of a wrinkly, obviously muzzled face, and a curled up tail to top off the unusual look overall. The breed has a fine, glossy coat that comes in a variety of different colors, but it's most often fawn or black. These dogs have a strong-willed nature and love for their food. In this scenario, located in Omaha, Nebraska, two pugs called Henry and Sally lived in seclusion with their 51-year-old owner who used a shotgun to commit suicide. And because there was no food around for days, the pugs really had no other option than to feed themselves on the corpse of the man for their own survival. This one's sad, but true. Please, we'd like to stress you that if you know of anyone who is suffering from mental illness, please help them by giving them the resources and contact information in their local area. Stay safe, people. Number 8. At the 8th spot in our countdown, we can tell you that the Bengal tiger is a panthera tigris with a population native to the Indian subcontinent. It is threatened by loss, poaching, and fragmentation of its habitat, and was estimated at comprising fewer than 2,500 more recently. Cynthia Lee Gamble, who resided in Duxbury, Minnesota, was a lover of exotic animals, including her 500-pound Bengal tiger. Unfortunately, while she was working in the cage, a door dropped which separated her from the tiger was not secured, until the Bengal tiger struck the woman and began to eat her as well. This unlikely event caused a stir in the media and bade the question, should people really be allowed to have exotic animals as pets? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. We'd love to hear your thoughts on this important topic of discussion. Number 7. Spot 7 goes to pythons. Pythons are called pythonidae, and are commonly known simply as pythons, being non-venomous snakes found in Africa, Asia, and also Australia. Among its members are some of the largest snakes in the entire world. In fact, 9 genera and 40 species are currently recognized in the world as of right now. This tale is quite sad, because the two adults who illegally kept a python in Florida were deemed incompetent. And in this instance, it was their daughter, Shanene Hare, a two-year-old little girl who suffered the consequences of their unfortunate actions. Here, the adults gave the python some occasional roadkill and not much else, apart from rodents every now and again. The 8.5-foot giant had previously escaped over 10 times prior to the assault on the small child, and the parents had never rectified this problem. The python escaped its enclosure and went to the bedroom of the little girl and then struck the small girl and then constricted her and began swallowing her. Number 6. At the sixth spot in the countdown, we're super stoked to tell you about the chimpanzee. Also known as the genus Pan, the chimpanzee consists of two extant species, the common chimpanzee and the bonobo. Each of these species are more commonly referred to collectively using the generalized term of chimpanzees or chimps. This story unfolded in 2009 when it became international news. The 200-pound chimp was raised by humans and socialized in a Connecticut home for 13 years. Travis the chimp was always known to be relatively friendly, actually. And he even was a local hero, gifting others and hugging them more publicly, too. There had only been a couple instances where Travis had outbursts of anger, but only his owners knew of this. Unfortunately, Travis hurt one of his owners, Charlie Nash, 
and she had been called after the chimp tried to carjack some locals. He beat and mauled Charla after she tried to give him a toy to call him away. And another person stabbed Travis, which made him rage and then he began to eat Charla. And when police arrived, he was shot and killed. Her face was severely disfigured after the mauling, unfortunately. And this brings up the topic of discussion again regarding animals which are exotic. Number five, here we have some information about cats. The cat is a small carnivorous mammal who enjoys hunting for food. It is the only domesticated species in the family Felidae, and often referred to as the domestic cat to distinguish it from wilder members of the cat family. In this scenario, a mother and son living in Pennsylvania, Herbert and Jane Walden, were eaten by cats. The son, in his 70s, was looking after his mother who could not take care of herself at the age of 94 years. But the house was a big shamble, and it was clear that he was struggling to keep up with his tasks as a carer, due to his own aging. And so, when he suffered a heart attack and passed away, Jane was left alone without care and no one to reach out to. There were wild cats and other wildlife in the home already, and unfortunately, the cats who usually ate the scraps from the pair were left to eat Herbert and then they fed on Jane after a time. Obviously, these animals did so for their own survival, and it is quite shocking. Number 4. At spot number 4, we're excited to tell you all about pigs. A pig is in the genus Seuss, within the even-toed undulate family known as Suidae. Pigs include domestic pigs and their ancestor, the common Eurasian wild boar, and other species. Related creatures residing outside of the genus include the peccary, the babarusa, and the more well-known warthog. In this scenario, we have a man from Coo County in Oregon. A local farmer, Terry, had been breeding pigs, and one of the largest was in excess of 700 pounds. That's actually double the size of a normal one. One evening, Terry walked out to feed the pigs, telling his wife before he did so. After a few hours, Terry had still not come back and so his wife began to worry about him. She couldn't work out where he was at at all, and so she called the local authorities who found his glasses with parts of his body in the pig enclosure. Much to their horror and surprise, the man had experienced a heart attack and passed away suddenly, and so the pigs believed his body to be their food source on that day. Number 3. In our countdown, the third spot goes to the hippo. Hippos are known as the common hippopotamus or hippo and it is a large and mostly herbivorous semi-aquatic mammal which is native to the sub-Saharan Africa. It is one of the only two extant species in the family Hippopotamidae, and the other being the pygmy hippopotamus. Their name comes from the ancient Greek word for river horse. In this story, Humphrey the hippo was the cause of a South American farmer's death. Maurice Ells, aged 41, was well known for raising exotic animals within his farming estate. And having owned Humphrey since he was five months old, the hippo had been described as the son that Maurice never had. Maurice often rode Humphrey through the extensive farmland too. In November of 2011, the hippo attacked Maurice and Humphrey bit down on the man, dragging him underneath the water for minutes at a time, and he did so until Maurice died, drowning him, very sadly. Multiple bite wounds and punctures were found on his body, and it turns out that Maurice had gone out to see Humphrey to feed him. It was truly a day gone terribly, terribly wrong. Number 2. Here's our best pick of the day, and it's sent in by Lucy Swanson from the UK. She found it on Google and thought we might like it for our top 10 countdown. This guy in the pig is obviously being constricted by a bow constrictor or a python of some kind. We're hoping that whoever took the pick came to his aid before he got completely swallowed up by it. Thanks Lucy, we're going to tell our viewers a little bit about bow constrictors while we're here. The boa constrictor, also called the red-tailed boa or the common boa, is a species of non-venomous, large and heavy-bodied snakes that are frequently kept and bred in captivity. They range in size and can be over 9 feet in length and weigh up to 33 pounds. They constrict their prey before consuming it whole. Number 1. We made it everyone. The number one spot is finally here. Are you ready to discover what it is? Great. I bet you didn't expect it to be the camel. Camels are even-toed undulates in the genus Camelus that bears distinctive fatty deposits known as humps on its back. Camels have been domesticated and hail from the desert areas of Asia and northern Africa. In this scenario, we have a really strange story for our viewers. A group of ranchers in Brisbane, Australia are featured in this unbelievable tale. They owned a herd of camels and one of them, a male, liked to try to straddle or have relations with its owners. One day, the camel became so aggressive that he began humping one of the female owners, which eventually killed her. He also took large bites of her as he was in the act, which shocked and horrified the people who found the woman. The attack was brutal and definitely very sad. And this one takes our number one spot for the top 10 pet animals who ate their owners. We can't really believe this countdown, it's too strange and definitely not for the squeamish or faint-hearted. Okay, YouTube, that's probably enough for one day. Or maybe you could watch another one of our awesome videos on the channel just for fun. We'd sure love that. 
We'd like to give a huge thank you to those of you who have been following us for a while. And for any new viewers, don't forget to subscribe and tap the bell to get notifications. Additionally, we'd like to invite you to like, comment, and share our videos, because we know how awesome you really are. So until next time, guys and gals, we'd like to say bye for now. We miss you already, don't you know? Stay happy.